Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Where we last left off, we got Magnus. We saved him. And then we decided to take a break. So now, let's actually take a look at him. Uh, doo -doo. Well, first, we gotta switch him out. All characters need to have a primary weapon equipped. Okay, you can have that for now. We need to get her back in so we can take her weapon. Because we're at least going to try out Magnus for a while. So, doop, doop, And you can have the pipe gun. Oh, uh, wait. But we want to take the armor, too. Yeah. So, we'll leave her just like that for now. Let's check out Magnus. Their stats are comparable. Six, seven, movement same, armor same, throws the same. But I like... I think I like his abilities better. The question is the second weapon. What do we want to have? Damage of five. Damage of seven. That's really good. And it's already upgraded too. It's got a broiler and a red eye on it. So we're going to go with that. We're going to give him the pyro armor. And we'll give him plus 20... Play. 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 Oh, can't talk today. Especially can't talk today. I was having many difficulties all throughout the day. As you can hear. <laughs> uh, so we'll give him the crown. So we want to check out his abilities. And go ahead and equip him up. So it looks like he had some pretty cool stuff. Foreman's got four points. We want to save up for stone skin. Ducks has four points. We might want to ch we might want to trade for those. Doubles critical chance when shooting while it's hidden. Yeah, that's really good. So he's got 18 points available. And his are health, movement, health, movement, and health. Yeah, that's pretty good. Immune to overwatch attacks while sprinting. That's pretty good. But that's only if we make a double movement, so that's not as good as it is in, like, XCOM, where you just ignore your first Overwatch shot. But that could be better if we were trying to avoid, like, two or three Overwatch shots. 25% chance of pulling bullets out of the air. Ooh. Eh. What else we got? Sneak between covers. The years of creeping around the zone have paid off. Your cat-like senses have made you supremely aware of your surroundings, giving you the ability to pass by others mostly unnoticed. So we have to get that. We'll grab Telekinesis Shield so we can grab that. And then we have Chain Lightning and Puppeteer. By sheer force of will, you can take control of other humanoid creatures and turn them into your puppets. That one. And then run and gun, which isn't bad. And then skull splitter. And silent assassin. So we can give him the same kind of abilities that ducks can get. Because he gets skull splitter and silent assassin, and skull splitter and silent assassin. We have to get run and gun for that, but I'm probably not going to use run and gun. I'm probably going to use this sneak ability. I don't know, though. We'll hang on to the rest of his points for now. Let's make sure we've got him equipped how we want it. So far, he deals the highest damage. Never mind. Forgot about the slinger. Yeah, so that's that's good stuff. I don't think there was anything else for us to explore around here. I think we did all of that last episode. Actually, I want to see something. I was watching one of my previous playthroughs, and I missed some scrap. That was approximately right here. Haha, -ha, so it's still there. Awesome. So let's go back to the Ark. Because now we need to go south of the Ark to rescue Hammond. But let's go ahead and go back here and see what we Fierce stalkers. You make an old man feel young. I heard of your recent exploits and how your search for Hammond now leads to the Nova Sect's base in the south. 
They call it the cathedral, but it is anything but. My brave stalkers, I pray you find Hammond in good health and return him here safely. If the Nova sect probe Hammond's mind, The Nova Sect's leader, Plutonia, is obsessed with some prophesized doomsday that never comes. The end of the world isn't coming fast enough, so Plutonia wants to jumpstart Armageddon with weapons left here by the ancients. Weapons that tore this place apart. Weapons Hammond could be forced to restart. To worship the ancients is to worship death. We are the lights that never go out. We are the Ark. And you will save us all. May your search for Hammond continue in complete safety. No pressure, right? Farewell. Bye bye. Remember. Your elders' guidance. I don't know how much guidance you've actually given us. Just a lot of like talk. Hear so those zone we... dogs are getting big. I mean, yeah, big. I hear they can knock you down if they get a running start. So don't go petting them or anything. And they travel in packs. So if you see a dog barking for his buddies, <laughs> get the hell out of there. That advice is free of charge. But what if I want to meet the pupper? So we definitely want to upgrade that next. Plus 15% critical chance. And one additional crit damage. 50% chance to burn enemies. So that's that's pretty good. Ooh, with a crit damage of 10. Yeah. So, 30% to weapon range. Do we want to put that on anything? Guess it couldn't hurt. Because he's got 20%. So, yeah, we'll add the 30% on there for now. And this one's already got 30% to weapon range. Yeah, they both have 30%. Critical hit. Critical hit. Sure. Sure. Let's give you that extra 20% to weapon range. Later, Why not? No reason not to. Uh, I don't think there's anything for us to really do, Welcome but let's check. To Aridius. Can't hurt to check. Might not be a bad idea to buy another pyro armor at some point. I... Another crossbow wouldn't be terrible either. Okay, so the Iron Serpent... Huh. So we can head here or down towards our objective. Let's head. Let's head to the left. No reason not to. I feel like we've already been here. I want to find or buy another med kit before I heal Borman. If I can help it at all. I've heard of these before. They used to move the ancients around the world. They got wheels. A lot of them. These things moved? Something's not right here. These ghouls were ripped apart by the fangs of a zone dog. Let's make sure we're not desert. Ooh, I'm gonna pet a puppy. We can hope. Ooh, got some scrap. We need all the scrap we can get. No, no, we haven't been here. Just keep exploring. Make sure we don't miss anything. That's really cool. This tree's grown up through this truck. Okay, so we didn't miss anything on that side. Now. We did before. What else we got around here? I 
Oh. Tried to sneak away from me. Oh, never mind. Thought that was scrap. That is not scrap. Selma was alright, but I think her gun was better than her abilities. Don't get me wrong, her ability to, like, root people to the ground was pretty useful. But I'd rather be able to take them over and use them, like, against themselves for a turn. Especially if they have a grenade or something. Heck yeah. Uh, so what do we got up here? Somebody, I'm sure. Yeah, I see him up there. They were smaller in the old days, dumber too. We don't know weapons, so it's dogs tackle. Weapons the poet. We are the king of the zone. Ooh. Then go to the zone dog and tell that to his face. You wanna get eaten like a sneaky little bam bam and tree bow? Go for it. Not bam bam. It's a weird thing to call somebody. If we can sneak around and take out the other guys, the tank rooms linked together. Can't make tusks or tails out of this. But it was too claustrophobic for my tastes. Although we can also use the tank against them. Mm, we'll we'll see about that. Ooh, if we can get up there. Over there. On the right side. If we can get up there. Oh, and zone dogs. Neat. I don't think we can quite take out the zone dog in one turn. Ho oh, ho ho, Axe Warrior. Where is immune to charge attacks? After studying mysterious discs found in ancient ruins, chroniclers conclude that this type of armor was worn by long haired axe warriors. These electrically powered weapons must have weighed a considerable amount as they were slung from the warrior's shoulders with a thick strap. Sadly, the axes are no more, but the spirit of these long dead metalheads lives on. So that's awesome. That's going right on Borman. Armor 2, HP 4. Yep. And then we'll switch that out for the Armor 2, HP 2. And then back to Ducks. He'll get the Pyro Armor. So now we just got three extra sets of armor. Now I'm curious. Can we switch out our squad anytime, anywhere? That's beneficial. Eh, she's still almost dead. Okay, so they don't heal or anything. Could still be useful. Let's keep exploring before we start fighting. Or not. I guess that's it. So let's take a close look at our weapons. We can do 5 damage, 6 damage, and 5 damage. So 16 damage. That's not quite enough to take him out. Maybe we're far enough away that we could use our powerful weapons and not get hurt. So, let's switch. Six damage. We got a 100% chance right here. Doesn't look like anybody hurt us. So that's 75. We got a hundred percent here. Yeah, I did that. What do you think about that, huh? That still may not be enough. Ten. So we would have to crit. Otherwise, he's going to call for backup. I doubt we're going to crit, so we may take a hit here. We'll, we'll see. 
I mean, we could take him over. I just don't want to... I don't want to waste that right now. Oh, yes. Awesome. Now, uh-oh. Somebody did hear that. I guess the machine gun's louder. Oh, good. It's the tank. Good lord. <sighs> I don't think that's how I want to do that. If we stay quiet, we may take a hit from the zone dogs, but we won't aggro that tank. I don't think. So, let's try that. He's got a much higher chance of crit. Yeah, crit's 55 when it's when we're still in stealth. So, don't get stupid. Yeah. We'll do 7. That will work for now. We could go knock him down, though. Hi there. What kind of health you still got? Nine? Eleven. We could hog rush him. Yeah, let's do that. We can still take him out silently. So let's reload for ducks. I really wish that we could upgrade the crossbow to carry more ammo. I hated that asshole. The dog? Awesome, we leveled up again. And then let's trade out that, because it's not going to be ready for a while. Yeah, one out of three. So the next turn, we can get... The next fight we have, we can get Borman healed up. We got a Chem Flare. Broken Gun. Hopefully we can find another dog. Take him out. And then Borman can eat him. Oh, follow me, guys. Just spawn in behind me. It's one of our mutant powers. Whoa, mother zone dog. Are there other mothers? Let's save. I'm curious how hard this thing hits. So yeah, there's more over there. Don't want to fight too many of them. But, if we can mind control... Hang on. So, how many does it take for you to get that back? Three. So, here's what I'm thinking. We'll go in here, we'll start laying in on the mother zone dog. And then we'll have Magnus take over the zone dog. Whenever one of them gets killed, Borman can eat that one. And then, Magnus will only be one kill away from getting his ability back. And we can go in with our really strong weapons because, well, Dog already knows we're there. So let's, let's try that, see how well it works out. Because it might not. We don't need to be stealthy. We need to be loud. Good job. Get him, Borman. <sighs> oh, my foot's asleep. So that's good, because we can do eight damage here. Crit of eleven. Let's let's save that, because I imagine that thing hits really hard. <laughs> yeah. Ah, sweet, we crit anyways. Unit is immune. Well, 
Well, that ain't good. We'll just do our best. Hopefully she doesn't uh, summon more enemies. So, never mind that. But we're getting back into the tough enemies again, aren't we? Alright, let's explore a little more. Maybe we can get Borman to heal up a little easier over here. What's really going to annoy me is if most enemies are immune to the mind control. That's just, that's gonna, that's gonna bug me a lot. So that, okay. This is the way towards this car. And that is the other way. Hey, another chest. Come on, sweet stuff. Ooh, a hat. Wear is immune to electrical damage and immune to mind control. Headgear donned by only the most balanced and wise indu individuals. <laughs> These free thinkers would have been held in high esteem by their tribe. The array of electronic components protect the wearer from electrical attacks. Is that better than what we have now? Immune to critical hits. Immune to electrical damage and mind control. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Critical chance from high ground is important. Plus 20% critical chance when hidden is also very important. We'll try it. Can't hurt. Better to have it and not need it and all that. Let's see if we can snipe some of these bad boys. The shaman, very important we take him out. Let's scout around just a little bit first. There's a hunter. God, but we don't hit hard enough to take any of them out. Not in one turn. We're only hitting for like 16. All right, if we go all in with our big weapons, we got six, eight, 14, and 21. So we can do 21 damage with no guaranteed crits. And we can take people over. That's 24. And the shaman up here, I think is the same. Yeah, 24. And then we got the tank. So it might be wise to get in high cover, hope for some crits, and send out that tank against some people. The question is... How do we get up there? Or up there? I don't see any ladders. I'm sure they exist. Uh, that may be a ladder down there. Oop. Sneak away. You're not wrong, Borman. <sighs> well, oh, okay. There's a ladder down there at the very end. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh, getting by these things is annoying. That's where they got killed by the zone dog, the mother zone dog, which probably would have killed me too. Let's grab some scrap. Some nights ago, me and the gang were sat in Prips playing dice. I was on a losing streak and not really paying attention to the game, 
when I happened to notice Prip quietly talking with a shady looking customer at the table behind us. They were talking quite intently and Prip was gleefully pouring many a free grog for his new friend. At one point in the conversation, Prip's eyes seemed to glow with excitement as I faintly heard the words Ancient Grog Storehouse passing from the stranger's lips. Apparently, there's something interesting down south that will warrant a visit when we have sobered up at least enough to get our rot-riddled asses down there. Good to know. I wish when we found notes like that, it like gave us a quest so we could get a little XP for it, but not a big deal. Okay, so that hunter's gonna constantly be in our way. And then there's the shaman, who we'd really need to take him out. The shaman's the big problem, because he'll just keep summoning people. Which I guess isn't a huge deal, a huge deal, if we're up in high cover. We'll see. Come on, fellers. I'll wait here for you. Break up. All right, I I got you, Magnus. I'll help you. Whoops. Hey, follow me. Come on, fellers. Let's see what we can do about this tank. I wonder if we mind control him from stealth, if we stay stealthed. That would be incredibly cool. I got this one. Alright, so let's hide there. Ducks, you hide here. And you hide over here with ducks. Oh, really? Alright, you hide a little farther down. You hide here. Let's give it a save. Let's see what happens when we mind control this big old boy. Fifty percent. Ugh. Out of range. Out of range. Out of range. Ugh. He's got a strong brain. Really? Crush fingers. It's interesting that that doesn't give us away. I mean, I guess it'll take him a little while to get up here. Yeah. Let's try for a crit. Does that hurt? God, that was with a crit. Ugh. Yeah, it sounds about right. Immediately call for help. At least they're not too strong. Still, the fact that they can call for three other units to back them up. It ain't good. So he dies in two turns. It's definitely not how I wanted that to go. I'm just kind of curious how this works. Is it always 50%? Pretty much always going to be that miss. I'm not going to save scum it until we get it. I'm going to try a different approach because uh, it's kind of hard. It's again just one of those. Well, there's a bunch of them. Maybe. There we go. Follow me. 
We really want to get that shaman back here. I wonder if it'd be worth seeing if Borman could pull him back. That doesn't really work too often, though. So let's hop down. And we'll probably just have to come back here once we've got better weapons, better abilities. Because the shaman over here, not a huge deal. They were alone, but they're not. And so the tank's immediately going to come charging through to us. Hmm. Question, though. We can get them in one turn, right? 25, so that's 6. 8, 14, 21. Somebody will probably crit, though, right? I guess we could throw a grenade. Or I guess Borman could throw a grenade. Since he's got the lowest damage dealing weapon. I guess you can have a Molotov, because those are useful. So that would be 8, 16, that'd be 23. We need to guarantee a crit on that one. Oh. And then we just have a tank and a hunter to deal with. That'll be easy, right? We'll try it once, see how it goes. Hide you there. Hide you there. Hide you here? What kind of a shot can you get from here? 75, it's not bad. Fifty. It's not great. I'm probably gonna throw with Borman. And Ducks, what do you got? I mean, we can pretty much guarantee the crit on him with this ability. Let's guarantee the crit and let's see if we need to use it afterwards. Make sure we switch, because that'll do a crit of eleven. Uh ugh, fifty. We'll give it a shot. Oh, good job, ducks. Yes. So far, so good. We're just incredibly outnumbered. Why is it 25 now? Uh, he needs to die this turn. Sure. Get some. And then we're gonna get knocked out. Yeah, of course he's gonna go for ducks. And shoot him. Oh, of course. It's the hunter. Not worried about the butcher. Am worried about that guy. Whoop. Little hiccup there. So we got seventy five and seventy five. Yeah, all right. We'll try it. We need him to go down. This would also be really nice. It's 100% on the butcher. I really want to mind control that guy. Oh, thank God. That's going to be really helpful. Whoops. So he's got a gaper. He can do hog rush. Can reload, shoot. What do you got? He's got a grenade. So we can take him out, or we can go for him. I wonder if this only lasts one turn. Let's move up to a better position. All 
And we'll take the butcher out. Borman can eat him. So we've got him for two turns. So we're gonna go knock out that hunter and then grenade ourselves. Or should we just grenade ourselves? Because that'll take our whole turn. Hmm. Let's see if we can get close enough to grenade both of us. Yeah, take that Overwatch shot. Oh, of course you miss. You miss when I need you to hit it. It's not a bad idea. anywhere. There's nowhere in cover where we can also eat this guy. Oh, I do not like those noises. But hey, we're healed. Out of range. Out of range. Alright, let's do an overwatch. Or should we reload? We'll do an overwatch. And Magnus... You can... No line of fire. So let's do an overwatch. Still no line of fire there. Should we move to a better location? Oh, he's still in stealth. It says we're still in stealth. You know what? Let's just see what happens if we just overwatch. Yes. Yes, awesome. I'm really going to like this ability when it works. Let's keep you in overwatch. Borman, let's reload you. And put you in overwatch. Ducks. Let's reload you. No line of fire, no line of fire. Overwatch. I'm, I'm curious what they're going to do. Of course you hit Borman. Why wouldn't you? Are you kidding? Ah, but we're immune to the knockback because of the armor, so we've got this tank pretty much handled. Let's try our wings. Mm, eh. I'm not sure if we can use our wings and then still attack, so Overwatch. let's just do Overwatch. Of course, 25% chance was 100%. Makes sense, makes sense. I want to get Borman into cover. We'll still have 100% there. So let's... That's still not going to take him out. Ugh. Donut. He's so strong. So he should be able to take him out. And it looks like he won't have line of fire on us there. So let's give that a shot. That ability to take people over is going to be so useful. So we're going to need to move up and take this guy on. No chance to hit. Yeah, that sounds about right. want to move Borman up into full cover, which is here, and then do the same with ducks.
And I guess... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Dux is gonna die now. That is not something I'm a fan of. Well, we need to take this guy out in two turns. <laughs> Just hope for the best. Fire at random and hope for the best so Ducks doesn't die. I'm gonna warn you again. We should be able to get him next turn if he doesn't run off. God, their weapons deal seven damage. If we can hit him, we'll be good this time. But I don't know. No line of fire, no line of fire. No line of fire. Yeah, that sounds about right. So he dies in one turn. I don't know if that means he dies as soon as this turn is over. Do we have a zero turn? I don't really want to risk it. And there's no good place for us to stand. Relax. Let me tend to your wounds. You're the best. Thanks, Magnus. 25% there. What if we do our wings? Still 25%? Even way up there in the air? It seems like that should negate some of this cover bonus. That's okay. At least he didn't die. This should get him this time. Could have been handled better, but the moral of the story is we won. Just barely, but we did. Not too shabby. Weapon parts. Over here. Let's see what else we got laying around here. Med kit, thank God. Ooh, and a treasure chest. Another one. I'm about to just say, forget the gaper. I mean, it's all right. Five damage, but the Rambino. Oh, I completely forgot about the boomstick. I completely forgot about that. Oh yeah, Borman's a boomstick kind of guy, for sure. Completely forgot we even found that thing. An ATM. Loot. Weapon parts. I thought there was something over here, but I don't see it. So now we've got those dogs left. Which again is not great, but this episode's already run super long. So I didn't want to just wander around this zone and not show you guys any good combat. Well, I didn't want to show you guys any combat. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. I'm probably going to head back to the Ark and I'll show you guys what we do there. We'll see you next time. Bye.